After years of pretty much nothing in the series being at an all-time low, Silent Hill is officially back and with more content coming out than we ever could have imagined. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Ryan here from Game Essays, here to talk about my take on the Silent Hill transmission that just transpired earlier today. And I am blown away, to be honest with you, with the amount of content. Now, I have some hesitation with some of the stuff that is coming up, some of these projects that they have going on, but I'm going to give my full thoughts and just get into it right away, which is Silent Hill 2 Remake is officially happening. And most people won't know, but one of my earliest videos made almost exactly two years ago was why Silent Hill, the original game, needed a Resident Evil 2 style remake. And this is exactly what Konami is doing, but they're choosing to do Silent Hill 2, much like Resident Evil did Resident Evil 2 instead of the original. And I totally think this is a fine decision because Silent Hill 2, at least in my opinion, in the opinions of many others, is the strongest entry in the entire franchise. So to get a whole new generation of people interested in Silent Hill, I feel like it's a pretty good idea to lead with the strongest entry as a remake because that is, you know, it's just the way to do it. It's the way to get a lot more people invested. You just got to lead with your, your strongest game and that's the best way to say, hey, this is what Silent Hill is all about and hopefully we get more people interested because really Silent Hill has been one of the hardest game series to get into in terms of accessibility because... Most of them are basically stuck on their original consoles, save for a terrible uh, HD collection that came out with Silent Hill 2 and 3. So most people stuck to the PS2 versions, and you had the virtual console on the PS3, plus the original Silent Hill game for PS1. So it was really hard to get into the series, especially with the first three games, which are really the strongest entries. And the series really never found its footing kind of from then on there was some good things about some of the entries including four and shattered memories and stuff like that but the series has really struggled so what are my thoughts on the silent hill 2 remake i think so far it looks great to me probably the most controversial thing about it is that james sunderland the main character does look different and um, i'm not fully sold on his look but I'm willing to look past a, a redesign that's fine I think people are being a little bit too picky I think the graphics and the animation especially at a lot of points looks incredible it doesn't always look incredible but there a lot of the moments look really really good this is going to be a PS5 exclusive for consoles and I believe it will also be on PC. I will probably be playing it on the PS5 when I eventually get one. We do not have a release date for this game yet, so I'm imagining the earliest it's probably going to come out is late next year, probably around Halloween, if that. May even have to wait another year. We will have to see, but it looks very promising. We're going to have over-the-shoulder camera. They did confirm that in the video, so it's going to be very similar to how they remade Resident Evil 2 and it's pretty much the exact type of style that I wanted to see, so I'm very happy about that. Like I said, people have some hesitations about how it looks, the atmosphere. I don't think we've quite seen enough to truly make that determination yet, so I'm just excited, and I absolutely will be giving it a chance and will be happy to play it. Now the next thing we saw was just a very brief trailer for another Silent Hill game, which I did not expect. It's going to be called Silent Hill Townfall, and this was really much more of a teaser trailer. We got a little bit of dialogue. I don't really know what to make of it yet. I haven't really taken the time to dissect it, and I'll probably just watch other people's theories on it and get an idea, because my main interest is in some of the other games right now. But nevertheless, this seems like another Silent Hill game that will be obviously taking place in Silent Hill. Townfall is kind of a weird name. It's like Downfall and Town kind of mixed. I don't know. We, we've got a, a lot of things that have used kind of that term Downfall, but I guess they're trying to be punny with it. Who knows? Um, but hey, it's more Silent Hill, more than I expected. So, you know, I'll have to wait and see on that because we really don't have much to look at. The movie 
now we're getting a Silent Hill movie. They just threw everything at us. <laughs> we went from nothing to everything with Silent Hill, which is just crazy. Crazy to me, because like I said, I basically thought this series was dead in the water. But now they're talking about the Silent Hill movie. It's going to be called Return to Silent Hill, which I think was a pretty smart title. You didn't want to say, given that this is technically the third Silent Hill movie, you obviously didn't want to call it Silent Hill 3 and get it mixed up with the game Silent Hill 3. I think this was a relatively elegant solution. Call it Return to Silent Hill while saying, hey, this is a Silent Hill movie, but it can kind of stand on its own. The thing that I am not a huge fan of is they're bringing back the director of the first Silent Hill movie. And they basically talked the first Silent Hill movie up like it was this huge success. I know it didn't get too critically panned and people liked it. I think a lot of people that liked it were people who never played the first game because they, they made a lot of bad decisions in that movie that really did ruin the story and take away from the atmosphere. It could have been so much more. There was brief moments in that original Silent Hill movie that captured Silent Hill, but for the most part, I think it really failed in execution. It added a bunch of its own lore that really didn't need to be there and took away from it. But nevertheless, this new movie is again, it's going to be about Silent Hill 2 which, again, is the strongest story, in my opinion, in the entire Silent Hill series. So I've always wanted to see this done as a movie, and it seems like the director is going to be more faithful to the story than he was with the first movie. But personally, I feel like it would have been better to just give a new director their chance to, to really shine, but I'm happy to see this movie being made. I hope the director learn from his mistakes of the first movie, and I hope it's really, really good. Right now, they haven't even done casting and stuff, so I can't imagine that we're going to see this movie, if not for at least two, maybe three years. So who knows on that? We'll have to wait and see. Then we got another game announcement, and that is Silent Hill Ascension. I don't even know if I should call it a game technically, this is going to be some sort of interactive community experience. They didn't elaborate quite enough on it, but it seems like, uh, I mean, it's going to be a live event. So I don't know if it's going to be streamed on something like Twitch or their own website, or it's going to be on a streaming service like Netflix. Do you play it on a PS5? I don't really know. And maybe we'll get more information soon. I give them all the credit in the world for trying something totally different because it seems like it's something totally different. And uh, I'm, I'm curious to learn more about it. I, I don't know how I feel about it yet. I think it's just too early to tell. So I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, I'm going to reserve my opinion on it because uh, I am curious and I appreciate, like I said, they're trying something wildly different than I've heard for a survival horror game. And it seems like it's going to be this kind of event, right? It's going to happen next year. So this may be the actual first thing we get out of all of these uh, projects that they've announced. It's going to happen sometime next year. And maybe it's just a, a one-time event. And what they said, like, basically the decisions we make will make it canon. So maybe it's an interactive movie for that one-time event. We make all the decisions as it's going, and then after that, it's just a movie or something you watch, and it's never changed after those decisions. I don't know. I'm curious to learn more about it. Lastly, there was Silent Hill F, which, again, people are confused, like, oh, is Townfall technically the next in the mainline series, or is Silent Hill F? I don't really know, but Silent Hill F seems to be a Silent Hill game that is not taking place in Silent Hill. It looks like it is taking place in Japan. And I have to say, this was probably, aside from Silent Hill 2 Remake, th this was the most impressive trailer. Um, and maybe this was the most impressive, but it was very, very creepy with this um, this girl who uh, looks like she's kind of visiting some monument or gravesite. And then is running away because she's being chased by this basically like plant growth that's just coming after her and basically just takes over her 
and then kills her. And it's very disturbing the way that uh, how this plant just absorbs all the life out of you and kills you. It was uh, pretty, yeah, pretty gnarly and very, uh, yeah, very gross, but uh, it was impressive. It was super impressive. Graphically, it looks really, really good. So I think it's going to be a pretty creepy game, and maybe there's... Right now, that looks to me more interesting than Townfall, but again, we haven't really gotten much from Townfall either. So yeah, we have a lot of Silent Hill going on, and this is not at all what I expected. I expected, basically, we either got one new game or a remake, but I think they are all in on Silent Hill in a way I didn't expect. I thought they would do like a remake to test the waters, and if that did well, then they would go from there. But they're like, no, we have this plan. We got this Marvel Cinematic Universe plan and we are all in, which is just crazy because for a long time, it was like the only thing Silent Hill going on was slot machines or pachinko machines, whatever. Now we have four games kind of coming out. I guess Ascension is a game. We got four games in a movie. It's it's a, a, a whole new world, so I'm looking forward to it. And I will definitely give my thoughts on these projects as they come out. I know this is mainly a Legend of Zelda channel, but for series that I'm very interested in, when they get new entries and even the movie, I definitely like to give my thoughts. So I will certainly be reviewing these entries as they happen, including the movie. But that's it for now. Let me know what you guys think of this Silent Hill transmission. Which projects are you excited for? Which ones are you hesitant about? Let me know and I'll talk to you guys next time.